Okay guys, I just want to do a quick review on the M&P, Smith & Wesson M&P Tactical uh, Range Bag or All-Purpose Backpack. I didn't see any reviews online on this one or, or any videos on it, so I figured I'd just make one since this is a product that's now available on oh, multiple sites from eBay to Amazon, Midway USA, all the... Uh, all the big outdoor shops are ha uh, advertising this bag and they don't take very good pictures of it or show you much about it so I just wanted to give you um, a little rundown on what the bag uh, has in store for you. Let's see if I can zoom in on this here. Okay, so it does in the pictures look like the Smith & Wesson logo is bright white like the white on these gloves. It is not. It's, it's pretty uh, dark gray so this is not going to uh, jump out a lot if you're looking for a, a truly tactical pack that's not going to show up in the dark that you can disappear in the darkness with. So if you want to use this as a bug out bag, it would work out for that. Bug out bag, perfect. Prepper bag, yes. Heavy weight. The zippers are main zippers, very heavy duty. Feel good there. Um, the pouches on the side have a smaller zipper, not quite as heavy duty, but they're small pouches, so I guess they work for what they. Uh, um, are designed for. I wish they were the, the, the larger, heavier duty zipper though. They're just not as easy to get in and out of. Uh, but these pouches do work okay for, uh, I'm going to use this as a range bag for my Smith & Wesson, of course, uh, the Smith & Wesson brand firearms. So I definitely wanted to have uh, some of this heavyweight that this will, will, should hold a lot of ammo. I've held a little bit of ammo in it. It should hold a lot. On this side, I did want to show you guys that it does have a, um, a waist belt. So if you do get this thing loaded down and you got to hike in somewhere to go shooting, which I often do if I'm going to the mountains to go shooting, I have to really hike in a long ways. So this will come in handy for that. Otherwise, most of the time, carrying lighter loads, you just tuck this away, just like it is there, and uh, you don't have to worry about it. Some uh, padding on the back side too. I don't think any of the pictures online show the padding. Um, the shoulder straps are very comfortable and they do have this snap here which has a little bit of a strange elastic pull, pull uh, um, stretchy area here but uh, it seems to work okay. I would prefer to just tighten it up um, from this piece here and not have the and not have the elastic there, but the elastic, eh, it does it does a job. <laughs> it does something. Um, also, it has this nice little patch, pouch on the top here um, for, I assume, some type of electronic device you want to listen to or something. The sad thing for me is, since this is a Smith & Wesson brand, I've got my little Smith & Wesson M&P shield here. It would be nice if this fit in there. It, even if I push stuff aside, it does not fit. So your shield will not fit there. Just so everybody knows, shield does not have a magazine in it. No, uh, no rounds in the chamber, but it doesn't fit. You'd have to. I'm sure you could probably fit something like a uh, uh, one of those micro guns, like the Ruger LCP, in there. But uh, it's a Smith and Wesson bag. I was hoping it would hold the Smith and Wesson. In any case. That's that. It has a opening in the back here for a bladder if you want to carry water in it to go hiking. Um, does have some type of uh, space here to put an ID in it. For me, I would actually prefer they put the labor into stitching this on here. I'd actually prefer them to put that uh, that labor into um, putting another pouch up here for safety glasses. I'm, I'm using this for the safety glasses, this top pouch here, so the safety glasses will fit in there and should be pretty safe. Uh, bigger pouch here, has two zippers on it, got my extra um, Bravo Company, actually the, the Bravo Company uh, um, holsters that I have cost more than the bag, so for around $50 to $60 this bag is a pretty good value when you can compare that these Bravo Company holsters cost much more than that. <laughs> so, yeah, put it in perspective there, I guess. Uh, the belt, the, the pack does have side carry handles if you want to use it as a 
travel bag. Go on uh, wherever you're traveling at if you're going to, no matter what you're using it for. These things come in pretty handy. I've never had a backpack with these side handles on it. I do like them. Also, it does have these things that if you're going to carry heavy loads in it, put this, snap these belts together, and you do get uh, extra, um, I guess, support to hold your load in so the zipper's not holding it all in. So as long as you're not holding anything fragile in these out outer packs here, that works just fine. So yeah, that's a pretty good uh, benefit to have on these, on all four corners there. Have that on there, hold it kind of tight, you're hi hiking up, you want to uh, carry a heavy load in there and jostle it around, and this should help protect those zippers. Now, I'm doing this part here, the inner compartment for a range bag, you know, you've got a lot of weight in there. Nice heavy zippers there for a range bag. Does hold quite a bit. Got my Smith & Wesson hearing protection. Got the original box that the shield came in. Um, my Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm box. As well as more mags here. So, in any case, pretty good deal. Pretty good um, bag for if you get it around 50, 60 bucks. If it costs Papa. more than that, it may not be worth it. Hi there, buddy. Hey, buddy. Cup. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so the only thing I'm thinking that Smith & Wesson missed the boat on on this one is not putting some type of extra pocket in that would hold a shield that would you could you could uh, connect, of course, with the holster in there to hey, protect Dad, it. Hey Dad. there. Hey, buddy. And uh, get a nice... Uh, <laughs> Get a nice bag that will hold everything you need there when you're going to the range. All right, in case, Dad. it's good. And uh, I'm being uh, hijacked. <laughs> and hopefully this video helps anybody out there. And um, if you have any comments you want to add to it, definitely do. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.